Inventor719 here, and welcome to a new series I'm going to try and make for my YouTube channel. And I'm not sure how well it's going to go, but if you're watching this, chances are it didn't go too badly. So essentially, I'm going to be calling this the Invention Challenge series. So this is going to be the first episode, so before I get to the actual challenge part, I'll explain to you a little bit of how it's going to work. And being the first episode, I may have to adjust the rules a little bit, but essentially what's going to happen is here in front of me I have three boxes of different stuff. Um, I'll give you an example. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but this box is just bigger stuff, cameras, pumps, speakers, tubes, stuff like that. This box I have more smaller mechanical stuff like hoses, elastics. I got a pressure gauge, I have lighters, toothbrushes, washers, string, balloons, clothespins, Nerf bullets, pens, uh, popsicle sticks, different things like that. And then in the last bucket over here is all of the electrical components. So I have like a whole bunch of motors. Some LED lights, resistors, some coils and actual electronic parts, some big old capacitors. I have a few little mini remote control cars, little electrical guns, more wires, and some switches. So now, basically, my idea for this video challenge series is I'm going to um, randomly close my eyes and pick something out of each of these boxes so I'll have three different items to work with and I'll move these boxes aside and then I'm going to give myself 10 minutes and my helper over here Orby, my beta fish, will be using my phone to time me and you guys will be watching me live for 10 minutes, I'll speed it up of course try and build something. Now all I'm allowed to do is use the three items I got out of these boxes, but I can also use a glue gun, my new Dremel, and just my box of tools like knife, screwdriver, tape, stuff like that just to help construct my thing a little easier. So uh, I guess without further ado, Let's get to the first episode and see how this goes. So here's the first step. I'll close my eyes and pick something from each box. And as you saw, some of the things are in bags. And if I pull out the entire bag, essentially I can use whatever I want in the bag, but not the entire bag of stuff. They're all grouped by category, so um, here we go. I'll look away. Okay, I'll show you everything at the end. I'm trying not to feel what everything is. I'm mixing it up as best I can. Alright, got some of those. And got some of these. So here's what I picked from the bags. First up, I got a little Agent Cody Banks, probably like a McDonald's periscope thing, like you look through there and comes out there. Next up, from the middle bag, I got a pretty crappy find. I got this little box of assorted washers. And in the third compartment, I got some lights. So that's what I have to work with, and of course, I'm allowed to use tools, and since I have lights, um, um, I'm going to allow myself to use some batteries. Okay, so here we go, about to start the build. And I've got my stopwatch and Orby, my little fish here, is going to time me starting now. Okay, so i got my box of batteries over here. And in the box of light, there's a car light. Probably not going to use that. Big light. Um, just a little LED thing and a few extra bulbs. Okay, let's see what I can build here.
It's a very pathetic light, if you ask me. Let's uh, let's see if a nine volt will make it a bit more powerful, or maybe I'll just burn the light out. That's possible too. Dead, dead nine volt. People say that tongue trick is stupid. Nine volt number two. There we go. So we'll be using a nine volt battery. How are we doing? Oh, four minutes left. Oh crap. Let's uh, layer these washers here. And then use my hot glue gun to attach them. There's the first one. There's the second one like that. And I'm going to try and put it in the end, like there. Now for this guy, I'm going to probably just go ahead and attach the battery to the side of it. Five seconds left. Time for a bit of a cleanup. And there you go, guys. I've completed my invention and cleaned up my surface in less than 10 minutes. So, um, I built my invention. Let me bring the camera closer to show you guys what it is. So here it is. This is what I've created. Um, so I used the periscope and used my Dremel to cut off a little piece on the back of it, which you usually put your eye on. I was hoping it would screw off, but it didn't, so I had to whip out the Dremel. So I quickly cut him off. And then from the bag of lights, the one I used was this little light bulb with two wires attached to it. Uh, just a nice little simple one, I guess. And then, um, the washers, I actually, they came in handy quite a bit to help center and secure the light bulb on my periscope thing. And then, the two extra things I used, well I guess a few, I used my hot glue gun, some tape, and just because I was using an electrical item, batteries and wires were kind of a given. So, um, like most of the inventions you might see in this series, this one is completely useless, but if you hook up the wires, the light will go on. Actually, let me take it to a dark room for you guys. So as you can see, the light is on and I made myself a little flashlight. Now, just in case you're in some super secret Agent Cody Banks movie, um, all you have to do is flip this little switch on the side and you get a flashlight coming out the this mirror right there. And flip the switch again. Oh, sorry, yeah, now it's coming out the side. Flip the switch this way and it comes out the front. Or you could just use it like that. Anyway, uh, that's what I made. Um, let me know if you guys enjoy this series. If you have any recommendations, ways I can make it better, or if you like it just the way it is. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also. 
check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.